Nice. In your book, Half a Glass, The Realist's Guide, you have an entire chapter titled, Hope for the Best, Plan for the Worst. Is it your contention that people be open to identifying their own weaknesses? Yes. And is it also true that you state in identifying one's own innate weaknesses, one can then reach one's potential by finding solutions there too? Yes. Do you also state that having a weakness is not a true problem, and in fact, after one identifies said weakness, one can compensate for it by seeking help from others, presumably from those who have abilities in areas in which one may not excel? Yes. And if I understand you correctly, you are advocating working together with people who may not be the same as oneself and who may have different abilities and perspectives. Is this correct, sir? And may I remind you that you are under oath? Yes. Oh. Order! Order! I will have order. Mr. Price, your second chapter also touches upon problem solving. Are you really telling me and the American people that thinking about problems before they happen, that being proactive in avoiding troubling issues is beneficial? Yes. Mr. Price, may I make my own observation and say that you will never be elected to public office with that mentality. Is it not a fact that the entire premise of this particular chapter is that one can't hope and wish that one has to, in fact, do something to make success happen? Yes. Finally, Mr. Price, did you not say, and I quote, it has been my long-standing belief that things like the law of attraction and the belief that things will all work out rarely do, and in fact successful people may do all those things. But it's really about how much work, planning, and effort you're willing to put into your life that dictates how successful you are? Yes. Never in my 25 years of serving the good citizens of these United States have I heard such reasonable and logical statements. You, sir, are a danger to society. What do you have to say for yourself? Under advice of counsel, I am invoking my Fifth Amendment right under the Constitution and refer all further questions to www.realist-revolution.com. Thank you.